Fly Dubai, the most famous low-cost carrier from the Middle East. Direct next door from the same city, Emirates, one of the best airlines in the world. By the way, compared to low-cost airlines in Europe or the US, Fly Dubai has a proper business class. But why exists Fly Dubai when Emirates exists at the same time? Who choose a low-cost carrier with not so low prices when there is one of the best full-service carriers in the same city? To find out why Fly Dubai exists when at the same time Emirates exists, we need to look back to the year 1985 when Emirates were founded. At this time, Dubai was only a road and one block more or less. Emirates was created because Gulf Air, the flag carrier for Oman, Abu Dhabi, Qatar and Bahrain, had reduced its service to Dubai, leaving the city with very few flight options. And that's why Emirates was founded. Emirates was originally a Pakistan International Airways investment and they started with $10 million and two wet leased aircrafts from PIA. Emirates did incredibly well in their first years. They grew by an impressive 30% each year. That's also because of the Gulf War at the time in the region. Emirates was the only carrier to fly through these times. In less than 10 years, Emirates grew its fleet to 18 Airbus aircraft. That's very impressive for a new airline. And it focused mainly on international routes. Then, in 2008, Fly Dubai was founded, mainly to serve as a low-cost airline within the Arabian world. They offered, at the same time, only economy class. It is obvious that Fly Dubai was founded to replicate the Air Arabia success with Hazard's origins in the neighboring city of Charja, and was founded in 2003. Air Arabia was the first low-cost carrier in Arabia and went profitable within only one year. But Fly Dubai also made sense to market Dubai as a holiday destination because if you look at how Dubai looked at the time and its plans compared to when Emirates was founded in 1985, then you could predict that Dubai would be at least a big holiday destination in the future because of the sheer amount of attractions they had planned. And in the nearby region, Emirates was highly unprofitable to serve such small destinations with medium to low passenger demand with such big planes. And only a few years later, Fly Dubai had an interlinear agreement with Emirates for 25 routes to complement each other. That underlines the importance of Fly Dubai to serve such small routes. A few years later, they started to serve destinations outside of the Middle East that had too low demand for Emirates' big aircraft, going more into the Asian markets, Africa and the cities in Eastern Europe. At this opportunity, Fly Dubai introduced their business class and added entertainment screens to the aircraft with their new 737 order, probably to close the big quality gap between Emirates and Fly Dubai. Because imagine you fly Emirates from Bangkok to Dubai and then you fly home with Dubai to Warsaw and the last six hours are more like Ryanair, wouldn't be so nice, right? That explains why Fly Dubai upgraded its service a bit away from the traditional low-cost airline. That's why culture agreements between both are possible because the product was not too bad for Emirates standards. Especially towards low demand destinations in Europe, Asia, the Middle East or Africa, Fly Dubai could serve these destinations and feed bigger Emirates flights via Dubai towards their final destination and vice versa, which extended their networks drastically and both could discover new markets for themselves. But throughout the years, Fly Dubai discovered its own markets, especially in areas with low purchasing power, because Dubai grew as a city itself and marketed its way to a big holiday and business destination throughout the years. That contributed to more passengers traveling directly to Dubai compared to before, when they only traveled to via Dubai as a hub. That's why both airlines partially compete on the same routes with similar service. What do you think? Will it harm Emirates or Fly Dubai when they compete partially on the same routes? Or do you think they attract different customer bases? Share your thoughts in the comments.